Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Arlex and I'm playing as the Gunslinger Engineer on King of the Hill Harvest. This is my favorite map for this class type. And I do think I have several other videos doing this, but this game is special. I don't die this game. And I have come to the conclusion that Mini Sentry Engineer is one overpowered piece of work. Because here's the thing. I remember someone one day, a long time ago, in chat, as I was playing TF2, described the Mini Sentry as the pimples on his ass. And for some reason, that stuck with me. Like, I found that to be so profound and insightful that I still remember it to this day. And that was, seriously, a long time ago. Like, like at least a year ago. I don't know why I still remember it. But he had a good point. I mean, mini sentries are just so damn annoying. And in his playstyle, to win as an engineer, you always have to have a sentry up and find the best places for them. For me, especially on this map, it's usually uh, next to these gray square rocks uh, next to the sides. And now let me explain to you why this mystery ass man had a good point. These little sentries are usually ignored, but they will ruin your day. And they are just always there. You destroy one and another one appears immediately. When I play against a good engineer who keeps placing these all over the place, I usually just give up trying to destroy them. Like, I forget about them and I try to play the game, but it's usually really hard because they're always right there. They're always shutting me down whenever I try to pass them and it's so annoying and... God... <sighs> And, you know, I don't care, personally, as an engineer, I don't care if anybody destroys it. I mean, a spy can sap it all he wants, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, you know, I'll just put one up immediately. And what's awesome is when I place one, it's, like, as it's building, it gets 100 health right away, or however much, I forget. And people usually start targeting that instead of me. Like, uh, like this, like, I mean, uh, this soldier over here started shooting at my sentry, and I don't really care. I already have 168 metal. I can just place one up immediately, and I will be doing so. But I got away from that. He could have shot me a few more times with the rockets, and it's basically like a little shield, you know? People completely ignore me, forget that I'm here, forget that I am the one placing the turrets. I'm responsible for them, and they target my sentries instead because they are just so damn annoying. So, also, also another fantastic thing is it shuts down anybody who's trying to rocket jump. Like, it's going to start ruining your trajectory as it's shooting you in the sky. It's going to keep you up there for longer, making you kind of like a sitting duck. And soldiers, uh, for example, they're pretty much the biggest threat to an engineer. Like, I don't care about spies, you know. It, like, if, uh, like, I'm a pretty good engineer. Spies usually don't bug me that much. And especially when I'm building with this kid, I don't really care if anything gets sapped. Because, again, I'll just put it back up. Also, another big thing about being successful as this kind of engineer, or really any engineer for that matter, well, especially, it works better on King of the Hill because you're more of an aggressive engineer, is it's using your pistol. Like, your pistol is just so great. I, I use the pistol throughout the entire game and I get a few kills with it and it's just so great because it's long range and it does about 8 damage. You have about 12 of those and it fires, like, 12 bullets and it fires really fast. So I'm always using that thing just to harass people, you know, just to kind of annoy them, maybe distract them, point out to them where I am so that they stop focusing other people and focus me because I can just run away. I'll run to my sentry and they will get distracted. And I mean, I use my Widowmaker as well. The Widowmaker is possibly my favorite addition to this type of uh, like gameplay. I know the, um, the uh, Frontier Justice is also pretty good because it gives you the crits, but I just love the fact that the Widowmaker gives me almost unlimited amount of metal. Like I can keep sustaining over and over and I could last basically the entire game. And there I go, I top score, didn't die a single time, this game is over, it was a pretty short gameplay for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this, hope you learned maybe a little bit something about these, this type of engineer. It is one of my favorite classes to play. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to press like, it really helps me out. And if you are new to this channel, press subscribe for more of this in the future. See you guys next time.